The movie kicks off in Bangladesh with a harrowing gunfight involving Tyler Rake, a former special operations soldier. Severely injured, he takes cover behind a vehicle. The scene then shifts back in time to a high school in India, where we meet our young protagonist, Ovi Mahajan. He travels in a luxury car with his chauffeur and schoolmates, heading to a restaurant where his friends tease him about talking to a girl. Upon returning home, it's evident that Ovi comes from wealth, with his parents living in an opulent mansion. Sejo, the security chief, scolds Ovi for not coming home directly after school. Despite the grandeur of his surroundings, Ovi seems perpetually scared and anxious, likely because his father is an Indian drug lord, though Ovi believes his father is merely a businessman. One evening, Ovi sneaks out to enjoy a nightclub with his friends. Later, they smoke pot in a garage, but the night takes a dark turn when a couple of shady police officers kidnap them and intimidate the kids in a sinister manner. The situation takes a grim turn when the police officers shoot Ovi's friend in the head and kidnap Ovi. The next day, Sejo visits Ovi's father, Ovi Sr., who is incarcerated in Mumbai. Furious at his henchmen for failing to protect his son, Ovi Sr. refuses to pay the ransom, fearing it will damage his reputation. Instead, he commands Sejo to find and rescue Ovi, threatening to harm Sejo's own child if he fails. Sejo lacks the funds to pay the ransom or hire a special forces team since Ovi Sr.'s imprisonment has frozen all his assets. Desperate, Sejo discusses the dire situation with his wife, revealing his plan to hire the best mercenaries, despite the high cost, to rescue Ovi. The scene shifts to Tyler and his buddies having fun in Australia. Tyler wakes up drunk and casually walks to the edge of a cliff, leaping into the lake below. Tyler appears to drown, staying underwater and meditating at the bottom of the lake, reflecting on his life. We see flashes of a child on a beach before Tyler struggles and resurfaces. When Tyler returns to his house, he notices a helicopter in the yard and finds Nick Khan waiting for him. Nick, Tyler's black market mercenary employer, seems to be the closest thing he has to a friend. Nick informs Tyler about a mission to rescue Ovi Mahajan, the kidnapped son of an Indian drug lord, from his captor, Amir Asif, a Bangladeshi crime lord and rival of Ovi's father. Ovi is reportedly being held in Dhaka, Bangladesh, where Tyler's co-worker, Gasper, also resides. However, Gasper has retired and can't take this mission, according to Nick. Tyler immediately accepts the mission, not out of urgency or concern for the boy, but out of boredom and misery. He spends his days popping pills and drowning in alcohol. Ready to take on the assignment, he receives an ultimatum from Nick, he must meet her the next day fully sober. Nick isn't just a handler, she's a true friend. Meanwhile, Sejo prepares to travel to Dhaka, Bangladesh. Upon arriving, Tyler swaps alcohol for coffee as Nick briefs their team, considering every option to save Ovi and predicting the actions of Amir Asif's soldiers. While on the mission, Tyler is approached and kidnapped by Amir's goons. This rescue operation is turning out to be more complicated than anticipated. The captors take Tyler to their lair and mock him. Even when they pull the trigger of an empty gun, Tyler remains unfazed, not even flinching. They demand that he pays the ransom, but Tyler insists on confirming Ovi's survival first. They eventually convince him that Ovi is safe and then press him to arrange the ransom. As Tyler is being escorted out, one of his buddies snipes several kidnappers, providing Tyler with an opportunity to escape. What follows is an intense fight scene where Tyler annihilates the rest of the captors with neck breakers, suplexes, faceplants, and arm drag takedowns. He even spares a kid who tries to shoot him. Tyler then releases Ovi and carries him to safety. It's a stroke of luck for Ovi that the kid's gun jammed. Meanwhile, Amir Asif is gathering several kids suspected of stealing from him, preparing for retribution. One of the kids is thrown off the building's roof, despite not yet being found guilty. Amir then orders Farhad, a teenager caught stealing, to amputate two of his own fingers. Ouch. At that exact moment, the local police chief, Colonel Rashid, informs Amir that Ovi has escaped, inadvertently saving Tyler and his team. Amir, furious, instructs the colonel to shut down Dhaka City, securing all bridges and exit points to prevent Ovi's escape. Meanwhile, Tyler drives Ovi to safety and stops to gear up, signaling that things are about to get serious. He dons his equipment and has Ovi put on a Kevlar vest. Nick and the rest of the team prepare to pick them up. Nick contacts Ovi Sr.'s henchman, demanding the ransom be paid immediately and requests the money be sent within seven minutes. 
As Nick and her team head to pick up Tyler and Ovi, an assassin ambushes them, killing several team members, including the sniper. The rescue mission faces mounting obstacles, turning more perilous by the minute. Nick and her colleagues soon realize they've been duped, as Ovi Sr.'s henchmen did not transfer the payment. Meanwhile, new assassins and corrupt police officers relentlessly pursue Tyler and Ovi through the woods. It turns out that Seja was the one who attacked Tyler's teammates, forced into this position due to a lack of funds to pay Tyler and his crew. Despite the onslaught, Tyler manages to escape with Ovi, using the same car. Tyler finds himself dodging Seja's attacks while also defending himself and Ovi from the pursuing police troops. Ovi mentions that Seja works for his father, but Tyler retorts that he also works for Ovi's father. As Seja teams up with the police to chase them, Nick guides Tyler through the city. After a frantic pursuit and intense driving, Tyler finds himself cornered and decides to ram Seja's car, seeking refuge in a nearby building. Inside, Tyler dispatches a police officer stealthily at first, then unleashes a brutal assault that shocks and impresses Ovi. As they navigate through the building, Seja launches an attack. Tyler impulsively throws both of them off a balcony. They engage in a knife fight, with Tyler gaining the upper hand and nearly finishing Seiju off, but their confrontation is interrupted when a car crashes into Tyler. Seiju seizes Ovi again and eliminates more police officers. Tyler retaliates by ramming a truck into Seiju, rescuing Ovi once more. Escaping to a remote road, Tyler deliberately crashes the truck, creating a distraction for the police. Seiju, though injured, manages to limp through the city, continuing his pursuit. With Ovi still evading capture, Amir orders his troops to intensify their search efforts. While in hiding, Ovi helps Tyler bandage his wounds, prompted by a call from Nick informing him about Seijo, a former Special Forces operative. Nick arranges for a helicopter to pick Tyler up four kilometers outside the city. Nick advises Tyler to leave Ovi behind since there's no payment forthcoming. Tyler, admitting he's motivated solely by money and hopes Ovi's father will pay, struggles with conflicting emotions. He confesses to Ovi that he can't bear the thought of abandoning his own son. Meanwhile, critically injured, Seja calls his wife, urging her to take their son far away if he fails to rescue Ovi. Tyler and Ovi encounter a group of kids led by Farhad, the teenager earlier threatened with finger amputation. These kids seek to impress Amir, but Tyler handles them with force, showing restraint after bonding with Ovi, opting to incapacitate rather than kill them. Tyler and Ovi seek refuge in the sewers to make a call to Gaspar, a retired squad member residing in Dhaka. They spend the night at Gaspar's house as a favor ode. After Gaspar leaves for the evening, Tyler opens up to Ovi. Curious about Tyler's family, Ovi learns that Tyler had a child who passed away from cancer. Tyler left for a third tour in Afghanistan to avoid watching his son suffer, leading to his wife leaving him. He now avoids forming attachments to prevent history from repeating itself. His insight uplifts Tyler, who retreats for the night feeling renewed. Tyler grows suspicious upon Gaspar's return, realizing Gaspar has collaborated with Amir, potentially jeopardizing their safety. Gaspar reveals that Amir has placed a $10 million bounty on Ovi, proposing to split it if Tyler allows him to eliminate the boy. The two engage in a brutal fight, with Gaspar gaining the upper hand and preparing to move in for the kill. However, Ovi intervenes and shoots Gaspar. Overwhelmed with emotion, Ovi embraces Tyler, expressing his desire to go home. With no other options left, Tyler calls Seijo, and they agree to join forces to ensure Ovi's safe extraction from Dhaka. Tyler devises a plan to distract Colonel Rashid's soldiers, allowing Seijo and Ovi to pass through a bridge checkpoint unnoticed. The next day, Tyler engages in a firefight with the soldiers to draw attention away from Seiju and Ovi, who attempt to escape in a car. Unfortunately, their cover is blown as the soldiers identify them on the bridge. During the shootout, Seiju shields Ovi from the soldiers. Meanwhile, Amir, watching from a safe distance with binoculars, directs Colonel Rashid to send reinforcements to the bridge, aiming to thwart Ovi's rescue attempt. The stakes escalate as the battle intensifies, with Ovi's fate hanging in the balance. Tyler races through the streets, engaging in a relentless firefight with soldiers until the military brings in heavy artillery, forcing him to retreat. Regrouping, Tyler ambushes them from behind, catching them off guard. Meanwhile, Nick and her surviving mercenaries approach from the opposite side of the bridge, targeting the helicopter harassing Ovi and Seijo. However, 
Colonel Rashid swiftly deploys snipers who shockingly eliminate Seju and members of Nick's team. Nick hides, believing the sniper is targeting her, but he wounds Tyler in the arm, ending his rampage. Nick locates the sniper's position and takes him out with a precise headshot. Despite his injuries, Tyler perseveres to save Ovi, instructing him to sprint to the extraction team's landing chopper. Tyler bravely fights off soldiers alone, providing cover for Ovi. In a tragic turn, Farhad shoots Tyler in the neck as Tyler tries to follow Ovi to the helicopter. Knowing Ovi is safe, Tyler collapses into the river, reflecting on memories of his son. Heartbroken, Ovi attempts to return for Tyler, but Nick and the extraction squad arrive in time to save him. Tyler is safely transported to Mumbai, his mission to save Ovi finally accomplished amidst personal sacrifice and loss. Eight months later, Ovi swims in the school pool, diving and practicing holding his breath. Meanwhile, Amir meets Nick in a bathroom, where she coldly assassinates him, seeking her revenge. The movie concludes with Ovi surfacing to find a hazy vision of a big blonde man watching him.